So, The Peanuts Movie. The film that's considered the best Blue Sky Studios movie of all time. And I can certainly agree with that. The story follows Charlie Brown trying to prove himself to his peers, while also trying to impress a new student only known as the Red-Haired Girl. It also focuses on other things in his life, like his days at school, his interactions with his friends, and wanting to achieve something in his life, like trying out different types of activities and to receive acceptance by his peers. The animation looks amazing. I like the fact that while it's CG, it keeps the Schultz style look to it. With both the hand-drawn look to both the facial expressions and the thought bubbles, and while it does make each environment distinct, they still keep the same charm of the original style. Even the credit sequence has a hand-drawn background. What I love most about this movie is that not only does it have a simple story that's easy to follow, but it also seems like a collection of different stories that tie into each other. Unlike other animated films I watched during the pandemic, the stories that play have a stable pace, and some of them contribute to Charlie Brown winning the heart of his crush on the red-haired girl. Gosh, I wish she had a real name, and gaining acknowledgement from his neighbors and friends. The characters in this movie are instantly recognizable if you're a fan of the comics or the cartoons. They serve a purpose in the story, and they aren't used to create boring filler to pad up the runtime, and I love how they actually got kid actors to voice all the characters. Lucy somehow is alright as a character. It's quite funny when Snoopy licks her, but she's too much of a jerk to Charlie. And it's no more apparent than in this scene. Don't you ever know when to give up? You will never get that kite to fly. Why? Because you're Charlie Brown. So by that logic, you'll always be bossy because you're Lucy. Back to topic. I also love the subplot where Snoopy dreams and writes about himself as a war pilot. It comes across as a crazy, epic, but fun subplot to watch without making it, again, like I said earlier about the writing, doesn't make it seem like pointless filler. And it's an epic and imaginative subplot. What sells the movie the most is Charlie Brown. He's just so pure and lovable. Someone who always works hard and does his best. And when bad luck comes to him, while some of it can be funny, most of the time you can't help but feel bad for the poor boy. While he does struggle to overcome adversity and his self-confidence, he's really a well-meaning person that puts effort for his self-improvement. Regardless of whether it ruins his reputation, he is proactive, helpful, honest, and very kind. And the lead-up makes the ending all the more satisfying. The fact that the red-haired girl was observing Charlie Brown all along really shows that she already knew the boy he was. Watching his acts of honesty, kindness, and actually, I'll let her say the whole thing. Why, out of all the kids in our class, would you want to be partners with me? That's easy, because I've seen the type of person you are. An insecure, wishy-washy failure? That's not who you are at all. I like the compassion you showed for your sister at the talent show, the honesty you had at the assembly, and at the dance. You were brave <laughs> and funny. And what you did for me, doing the book report while I was away, was so sweet of you. So when I look at you, I don't see a failure at all. You have all the qualities that I admire. Yep, after all this time, Charlie Brown had finally won. Once the red-haired girl said all that, even his friends acknowledge his achievements, now that even the red-haired girl sees it too. This is definitely a love letter for all Peanuts fans, and definitely worth your time. And even if you're not a fan of Peanuts, not that kind, fan of the franchise or not, you definitely get entertainment value out of this. I give the Peanuts movie a 10 out of 10 with the ribbon of awesomeness. What can I say? I'm a sucker for the underdog. It may be cliche, but I love a happy ending. And now, stay tuned as we talk about... Oh Christ, another one? This review series is going to have less variety at this rate.